On April 1st, 2012, I made a video debunking this idiot creationist assertions and I posted it to YouTube. The shittard in question promptly filed a fraudulent DMCA takedown notice against that video. This was the third fraudulent DMCA takedown notice that I had received, therefore YouTube sent notification to me stating that they were going to terminate my YouTube account. Apparently, the first counter notice that I had filed had not taken effect, even though I had filed it more than three months earlier. Fortunately, or unfortunately, depending on how one looks at it, the counter notices came into effect before my account was terminated. The shittard creationist then filed a privacy violation complaint, and YouTube agreed that my video had violated his privacy. Note that the complaint is a privacy violation complaint and not a copyright violation. Even though there is absolutely nothing in my video that violates anybody's privacy. Let us once again revisit my video and I will highlight where this clown claims I have violated his privacy and where YouTube has agreed. Okay. So my topic today is disproving evolution. And then tomorrow night, I'll disprove gravity. And maybe Friday night, I'll disprove sunlight. Evolution is a belief. In the same sense that sunlight is a belief. That everything that we know now was once basically something else. Everything was something else. Dude, way too many details there. Try to dumb it down some and evolved into what we are now. Personally, I think I evolved from cheese because I've seen myself naked. Many people will try to believe that we evolved from monkeys. Cladistically speaking, we are monkeys. We did not evolve from monkeys. For exactly the same reason, we are apes. For exactly the same reason, we are mammals, etc. All the way down the hierarchy to Pun scum! A question for the creationists out there. Why did the gods make us almost identical to bonobo chimps? Why did the gods use bonobo chimp DNA and just modify it by about 1% or so to make humans? Why did the gods want us to think that bonobo chimps and us share a common ancestor? Was it out to deceive us for some strange reason? Do the gods just have this really bizarre sense of humor? Please, creationists out there, um, enlighten me. But in evolution, the weaker species dies off. No. Bad. That is not how evolution works. Evolution works by differential reproductive success. An individual in a population that is more successful in producing offspring is selected for. Weaker? Stronger? In most cases, no! So a monkey wouldn't exist if evolution was correct. As Redneck Trucker, a user on YouTube, recently asked, if the Bible is true and humans were made out of dirt, why is there still dirt? Also look at the hummingbird. Okay, I am looking at the hummingbird. I'm still looking at the hummingbird. Mm -mm -mm. Goddess, I love hummingbirds. Mm. Still looking. Mm. Ah. Love them hummingbirds. How could it evolve from something to the state it is now? The prudent question is one half of wisdom. If you wish to be wise, or at least appear to be wise, you need to ask a valid question, not an invalid question. It is not valid to ask how hummingbirds evolved, even though we can see how hummingbirds evolved in the fossil record and genetic record, among other things. Evolution is the answer! to how hummingbirds diversified from their ancestors. And evolutionary theory explains how that is done, or was done, and is still happening, by the way. To paraphrase,
Bombastus Paracelsus. A hummingbird's wings flap faster than anything. Faster than anything. Evolution has just been disproved by the phrase Hummingbirds beat their wings faster than anything. A hummingbird can hover up, down, sideways, and in all dimensions by nature. I had a girlfriend once that could do the same thing, and every time I fondly remember that, it brings a smile. A hummingbird is designed by the hands of God. So you're saying that the gods fucked up when they design hummingbirds. You know, hummingbirds in their genome, in their DNA, they have genes for making teeth. And yet, they don't make teeth. Not even sawtooth hummingbirds have teeth. They have serrated beaks that kind of look like teeth. Not only do hummingbirds have the genes for making teeth, but they do not express teeth. They don't have mouths capable of having teeth, even if the genes were expressed. So I ask you, why would the gods do that? A hummingbird could have evolved from what? And the correct answer is... Feathered Theropod Dinosaurs! And note, yet again, that cladistically speaking, hummingbirds are therefore dinosaurs in exactly the same way that humans are monkeys. Because a hummingbird would have to drink from a flower to survive. Most of them also eat insects and arachnids. But a flower would have to be pollinated by a bee who would have had to evolve from something else. That's right. In the fossil record and in the genetic record of bees, we can see that the gods took carnivorous, that is, insectivorous, ancestors of bees, and over more than a hundred million years, the gods took those and made over 16,000 different species of bees. Why would the gods do that? Don't know, but by golly, it sure was an evolution. So, in the terms of evolution, there's no way possible. Huh? What's not possible? Flowers evolving, co-evolving with insects? That's not possible, even though we see it in the fossil record. It's observed to have happened, it is observed to still be happening, and it's impossible? Because if a bee didn't evolve... If the sun didn't exist... A hummingbird would have never existed. If the sun never existed, guacamole would never exist. If that's the basis of what you believe. So let me, if I may, try to sum up what it is you are trying badly to say. You have absolutely no idea what scientists say about evolution. You have absolutely no idea what scientists say regarding how evolution works. You have therefore have no idea what evolutionary theory says. And you object to people believing your false idea of what evolution is according to scientists. Is this a correct summation of what your complaint is? And also you say birds. If a bird evolved from something else, it would have had evolved able to fly already. Yes, most birds have already evolved so that they can fly. It wouldn't evolve to fly. Then how do you account for the bird shit on my car's windshield? If it was on the ground, it would evolve to, su to actually live on the ground. Yes, the ancestors of birds did live on the ground. Oy, they, and I'm not even Jewish. Not to flee from the ground, a human being. If we evolved from monkeys, like I said before, monkeys would be dead because they would be considered the weaker species. No, bad, that is not how evolution works. The weaker species in evolution dies out. No. Something evolves because it is dying out.
No! So we don't see polar bears evolving into something else? No scientist expects them to! That isn't how evolution works! Ah. Evolution doesn't take thousands of years. Evolution would happen slowly and assuredly if it were true. Evolution happens every second of every day for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of years. And as for evolution being true, no scientist out there says evolution is true for exactly the same reason. Gravity is not true. Sunlight is not true. Atmosphere on Earth is not true. Evolution is not true any more than evolution is false. A natural phenomena is not true or false. <sighs> um, look at another animal. Um, ants. Ants, six legs, therefore insects, therefore share a common ancestor with bees and wasps. Why don't we look at something more interesting, like, um, I don't know. Mm, 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 yeah, baby. Mm, mm, mm. What does an ant need to evolve for? What the fuck? Did you just ask why we needed to evolve ants? Was that the question? Oh, 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 I get what you might say. You might say the ant eater evolved from the ant. It burns! It burns! Make it stop! And is now eating the older ants. Uh, I don't know what logic that will give. Yeah, I don't see the logic in that either. Or, somebody may say, ants evolve from moles in the ground. Yes, and somebody might also say that the gods made hummingbirds. You know, since they do live in holes also. Or the rabbit. Ah, the rabbit. It eats carrots. Rabbits eat carrots. In this guy's universe, rabbits eat carrots. Not grass, not flowers. Carrots. But then that means the carrot would have to have evolved so the rabbit could survive to eat the carrot. So let me get this straight. Carrots and rabbits can't evolve at the same time. One or the other had to come first. As if the only thing out there that rabbits eat are carrots. But from the beginning of everything, it was created the way it is and it evolved from anything. How many rabbit fossils do you see in the Cambrian era? Species have died off. Damn near every species that ever existed is extinct. Why did the gods do that? Don't they have a plan? If they have planned to have all these species die off, why bother? You want to go in evolution? Evolution demands knowledge. No. Everything man has learned has already been here. Humanity just recently learned that the universe is not just expanding, but it is increasing its rate of expansion. The token phrase that we use for that is dark energy and dark matter. Has mankind always known that? That they took from an even greater wisdom already. Let me guess. Ancient astronauts from the Pleiades. A plant. A plant already has solar panels on its leaves. Texas has a whorehouse in it. It soaks in sunlight, turns it into sugar, lives. Photosynthesis. Simple. Now the whole process of photosynthesis I'm not really sure of. But you're damn sure what scientists say about evolution, by golly. As far as re-spitting it out in words, but I know the process of photosynthesis. The basis is turning sunlight into energy. Photosynthesis turns sunlight into energy. But we just now found that out recently to make a solar panel. Ancient Ionia some 3,000 years ago were using solar panels to heat water. This is recent? Let's chapter the sunlight. Plants have already been doing that. What? A bird. In a bird's mind, it can do everything it takes an entire airport staff to do. Huh? A bird already knows what altitude to fly at. Yes, but does it know when to pull the ripcord? And does it pack its own chute? Or does some other species do that for them? 
A bird already knows what altitude it can't go at. What? The knowledge a man comes up with is simple. It's already been thought of. That's right. Eggplants, you know, understand the general theory of relativity and the special theory of relativity. They're just not letting us know that they know. By who? A greater wisdom. God. And where did these gods come from? So, evolution has been disproved. So, you have absolutely no idea how evolution works. You have absolutely no idea what scientists say about evolution. You have absolutely no idea what the theory of evolution says. Therefore, the gods did it. If in the beginning of time, we everything is on a clock, we all would evolve at the same time. Huh? That doesn't make any sense at all. Evolution is a series of nested hierarchies. To evolve all at the same time? That would be creationism, not evolution. Adam and Eve? Adam and Eve? Adam and Eve? We're here. Plants were already here. Tinkerbell and leprechauns were also already here. The grass was already here. In the Bible, it tells you these things were already here. The Bible? The Bible has plants growing before the fucking sun existed. The Bible? A big fact that proves God's existence is that God asked Job, does he know the treasury of snow? And the good fairy said, are you a good witch or a bad witch? Now the treasury of snow is seen under a microscope, so God was asking, have you gotten smart enough to see how deep the beauty of the things I create is? And you know that God said this, how exactly? Um, are these voices that you hear in your head? Exactly how are you hearing what the gods are saying? Man-made snow looks basically like fuzzballs. Snowy fuzzballs. But God made snow. If you ever want to look at it, Google snow under the microscope. That's right. This guy's God is called Jack Frost. But whoever ever set you on this earth With no direction to go by No gavel, no advice And when never ever you made up your mind Was you already torn apart And you can't restart And thus we come to the end of the video that YouTube and the shit-tard creationist claim violates somebody's privacy. I ask you, did anybody see anybody's privacy being violated in my video? I sure as hell did not.